Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday, and I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. And I hope you're having a great morning. You're halfway through the week. And we are considering in this season of Lent key aspects of holy habits, of living in Christ and with Christ as we journey towards Easter. Today I have a Bible verse for you, and it's about gratitude. And it's one of those verses that's just beautiful, inspiring, and often lands on a poster. But I think it can be quite difficult to live out. I'm looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Did you hear that? Give thanks in all circumstances. This is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That is a trait, the trait of gratitude, that we need to practice and work at every day, in my opinion. Because when you can learn to be grateful, when you can grow that spirit of gratitude within you, it is the antidote to anxiety, bitterness, uh, distress, Thanksgiving, having that spirit of gratitude, puts in your life a spirit of peace that we so need. But gratitude is hard. I want to share with you a book worth reading. Um, if you've not read it, it's by Corey Ten Boom. This is my copy. Uh, it's called A Hiding Place. It's an incredible story of she and her sister Betsy as they were taken captive and placed in the Ravensbrück concentration camp during the horrible years of World War II, the Nazi regime in Germany, where millions were slain. The gratitude lesson from her story that will always stay with me was how she was encouraged to give thanks to God for the flea infestation in their barracks where they lived and slept. Can you imagine being grateful for fleas? But it was pointed out that it was because of the fleas in their barracks that they were given much more freedoms and liberties. The Nazi guards rarely came by, not nearly. They would not come in for inspections like they did in other barracks. Thanking God for the fleas and the benefits of them. Uh, it, it will stick with me. Uh, throughout this incredible story, there are lessons about looking for God, God's presence, and God's hidden blessings, even when things are very, very bad. In this past challenging year, I have seen very special blessings in my life and in our church's life. And I want to encourage you, remember I said it's hard, but God's will for you in this season of Lent is to practice that spirit of gratitude, thanking God in all circumstances, in and through Jesus Christ. Before I say goodbye, uh, have a great week, and please know that I'm thankful for you for taking time to listen to this devotional and each of our devotionals each morning. May God's Spirit be growing that image and peace of Christ in your life, today and always. God bless.